Hola from the north of Argentina, a region which is famous for its wine, its food and its red mountains. We start this whole trip here in Cafayate, which is popular for its wine. And this is why I came here by bike, not only to enjoy an exceptional view to Cafayate, but also to enjoy some wine, because we are here on a winery called La Finca de las Nubes, and we are going to try a white wine, which is... Torrontes. Torrontes. Torrontes, si hablamos de Cafayate, es la cepa emblemática de Cafayate, única en Argentina, no hay en otro país eh, y nosotros el, el, la elaboración del torrontés lo hacemos en, un poco en tanques de acero inoxidable un poco en madera, siempre de roble francés o americano y aproximadamente elaboramos eh, entre 30.000 botellas de torrontés por año que es muy pequeño esa producción Bueno, bueno probamos Probamos torrontés <risa> Salud <risa> This is how the north tastes like. Fruity and kind of sweet. I like it. So now I'm in the place which is most popular for this region, which is called the Quebrera de las Conchas. And I got this bad boy with me to show you some aerial footage of this crazy rock formations here. The Quebrada de las Conchas is a deep canyon which was formed by the Rio de las Conchas about two million years ago. Sky Junkies are just incredible. I mean, we just walked up here on this little hill here, and look what's around me. Theater, and apparently this has a really good acoustic, about 70% of what the Teatro Colón in Buenos Aires has, and you can hear it. This is our last stop, the Devil's Throat. What I'm visiting is called Purmamaca in the region of Hoi Hoi. And the reason why you should visit this place could be the handicraft market in this really cute town, but it should be the Seven Colored Hill, which is part of the Quebrada de Humahuaca. Good morning, guys. It's currently seven, and now I'm on the way to a viewpoint. To see the sunrise on this multicolored mountain of Pumamaca. Up there somewhere is the viewpoint. And this is where the village is. And you see already the multicolored mountain. It's gonna be fun. The unique color range of the Cerro de los Siete Colores is the product of a complex geological history, including marine sediments, lake, and river movements elevated with the movement of the tectonic plates. Beside observing the sunrise, I recommend doing the three kilometer walk around the hill to explore the surrounding peaks, which are also very impressive and colorful. And the third destination on my trip through the north is Salta. If you visit Salta, you should definitely check out the historical old town. Salta is nicknamed La Linda, the beautiful, and is popular for its old colonial architecture and tourism friendliness. 
And of course you should try the Saltenas. Next up is the cable car ride to the Cerro San Bernardo where you can enjoy the best view over Salta. The north of Argentina is definitely worth a visit. Go see it yourself and take my travel guide with you where I summed up all my tips, my recommendations for places to eat and places to stay. If you haven't already done it, make sure to subscribe to this channel to keep traveling the world with me every Thursday. Saludos and see you soon!